Good morning. Just getting to the farm here this morning. Um, got to go in and talk to my dad and uncle, see what's the plan for the day. I know we got to get the wheat planted where we combine those beans yesterday. It's our grain system in the background. Um, so I have to treat that wheat seed. Uh, I have my own seed treater for my seed business and it works good with uh, wheat because we don't have to have any extra wheat treated around in case we didn't get this planted. So uh, I'm going to get that done here this morning. We've got to get the rest of those beans hauled in and try and get those uh, taken care of, get the trucks and the combine out of the field and out of the way. Some of those ends got rutted up pretty good this spring, so we're going to have to fit that down before we can go over there and plant wheat. I don't know that we have any more beans ready to run today, so we'll see how that goes and have to go look around here later this morning. Okay. So, Phil took his pickup down to the field to get those trucks and beans hauled in. I have to get the seed out of that wagon and treat it. So, I've got to move some of this stuff out of the way and get a tractor, take it down to my seed warehouse and do that. So, so to get the wheat out of this wagon, I have to get the auger off of that wagon. So, i got to mess around with that here this morning. Um, brackets are on both wagons it should be a matter of just pulling a couple of pins and moving those hoses got it this tractor is our oldest tractor it's a 1965 john deere 4020 my grandpa brought bought this tractor brand new uh, here about six seven years ago i stripped it down and uh, restored it repainted it we don't use it for too much anymore, just a little utility tractor. All the seed wagons around pretty much it. I'll open the door. that'll work okay so this is my seed treater we put seed in the box on top usually I would just set a full box up there but since we're coming out of the wagon I'm just gonna dump it into that box from there uh, it falls down into there there's a uh, seed wheel in there, or a uh, uh, atomizer in there that atomizes the chemical as the seed falls around it it goes through and then mixes through this auger into a box that I will set right there we put our chemicals in these tanks. Um, what we're putting on the seed today is Vibrance Extreme. It's that. It is a fungicide that keeps the seed from uh, having disease get in it and rotting before it can sprout and grow. Okay, I've got everything set up and getting started here. My auger set up, auger some weed into the box. I got all my chemicals ready. Here we go. The treatment is red in color, and that is to ensure that none of it gets mixed with grain. Uh, once the wheat is treated, it cannot go to an elevator or anywhere for feed use or food use or anything. So we put the red coloring in to make sure that we keep it separate. And if they find a red kernel in any of that stuff, they will reject the entire load. Okay, I got the wheat treated. Two boxes there, two on the tender. Should be enough. Got to uh, take this wagon back to the farm. And then I think go disc up some of the end rows in that field where we're gonna plant wheat because they're rough from the spring. Alright, we just got to the field with our disc. Gotta get it unfolded here. Unfold the packer. We aren't gonna do this whole field, just gonna make a couple passes around the outside. I don't know if you can see how rough it is up there, but that's what we're trying to eliminate. Are we gonna make it? I'm gonna put that combine right in the way. from the spring. I know 
I said this was a uh, disc. Technically, this is a Landall 7431 VT. Uh, they call it a vertical tillage tool. But let's be honest, it's a disc. Move! Move! Oh, I guess I'm gonna have to go move that. It's annoying. Well, don't those two look cute together? Got the combine moved across the road. The next field of beans we're gonna run is uh, over there, even though I don't think they're quite ready today. Uh, but while I got time, I think I'm gonna move the grain cart over there too. Okay, now that that's out of the way, we can finish this. Phil's here with the drills, started playing wheat. So it's time for us to get out of here. And I am just finishing up anyway. Somebody should wash that window. Okay, we are back to the farm here. So, uh, let's see, what's next? Dad wanted to start knocking some tile lines down. We've got a field up north that we are putting uh, some drainage tile in. So when he does that, we like to map them and uh, have a, or use our GPS to kind of, so we know where things are at in the future in case we ever want to add more tile or we need to find one to dig it up or something. So I need to take the 2630 display out of this tractor, since we're done with it for a while, and put it in the other tractor that he's going to use to knock down tile lines so he can map them while he's doing it. I'm going to go ahead and do that, get him off to the field, and then I'll figure out what's next. Okay, I got the GPS set up in that tractor for Dad to map tile lines with. Uh, I think the next thing I need to do is get some more seed down there for Phil. Uh, he's should be good for a little bit, but won't be able to plant that whole field, so we need to swap these boxes out for some full ones and get his truck down to them. There's one. This is really hard to do holding the camera. Take it to Phil. Okay, got the tether to the field. He's over there playing. Dad's here to give me a ride home. Okay, back at the farm here. Since I don't have any beans ready to combine, Phil is all set with planting wheat. Uh, Dad's working with the backhoe, digging up the pile, working on some of that stuff. So I think I am gonna spend the rest of the day doing some mowing. First, uh, my lawn down at my seed warehouse, because I haven't done that in about three weeks. And then after that, I'm going to hook up the big mower to our 7520 uh, tractor and go mow uh, around some of the field borders of these fields that we've already gotten combined and uh, some other spots that need it here this fall yet. It's 
Too bad they don't make auto steer for lawnmowers. That would be handy. Got to hook up to this mower. And then go do some mowing. Every dang time. 540. Thousand. Never have the right PTO shaft in it. Snap ring out. Put the shaft. Flip it around. Snap ring back in. Now we can hook up the PTO shaft, which I'm almost positive I can't do one handed. Oh, aha! Go do some mowing. There's some of our early planted wheat. I was planted into a field that was prevented plant to wet the plant last spring, so we were able to get it in sort of early. This field is the first field of beans we ran. Uh, did these last week. It actually is planted to wheat, um, so I really don't like driving across it. But back here. There's some low ground that's weeds. We've always farmed around it for as long as I can remember. Um, we're gonna continue to farm around it. However, since we have wheat here and we'll have some time to do some uh, work next summer, we may improve some drainage, need to put in a couple of waterways, and we thought we would try and mine some of this good black dirt out of this uh, low ground in the back here, kind of a muck hole. So uh, we thought that we should try and mow down the grass and stuff that is there this fall so maybe there's not quite so much residue next summer when we want to try and dig some of the dirt out of there. I don't know how wet it's going to be out there. I really hope I don't get stuck. I think it's a good idea to work around the edges instead of taking off right through the middle of this thing. I just woke that pasta up from his nap. He's not very happy. Okay, that's it. Got this whole area works down. I didn't get stuck, so that's good. It uh, was pretty thick grass, so it didn't do quite as good a job as I was hoping, but it's a lot better than it was. Uh, it is a little after 5.30 right now. I have got a meeting at church tonight, so I'm gonna head back to the farm and take off for that. So this will be the end of today's video. Um, if you like it, hit the subscribe button again. Uh, also, you can find me on Facebook at Borderview Farms. I'm also on Twitter uh, at Borderview Farms again. And I do have an Instagram, but I just started it yesterday and I don't have any idea how to use it yet. So don't worry about that one for now. Um, leave comments and feedback below. We'll see you later.